Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I've gotten some heat over the years for testing what you might call knockoff stoves or cheap copies of stove usually made in China. But as I've explained on other videos, those are the most requested videos here on the channel. Gear can be expensive and people are always looking for ways to save some money. Now I'll say up front that I always prefer the original product, but I think it's important to take a look at the copycats as well because people are buying them and they want to know whether or not they're any good. So I'll continue doing my tests, continue enjoying what I do. Today we're going to take a look at the Tokes Siphon Titanium Stove and a copycat from Luxada. Stay tuned, let's take a look at them. Thanks for watching guys. So first off, we'll look at the Tokes Siphon Stove, kind of the original of the two. The dimensions are a two and one eighth inch diameter and one and a half inches high. It is surprisingly small and lightweight. Uh, the capacity is 2.7 ounces and it weighs 0 0.7 ounces. It's made in China, cost $35 and made out of titanium. And there it is. You can see the jets on the inside, very similar to the other one. This is the Lixada, okay, dimensions are 2.5 diameter and 2.3, so a little bit bigger than the Tokes. It also weighs a little more, it weighs 1.5 ounces, also made in China and made of titanium. 100 milliliters is the capacity, so a little bit more than the other. This I got on AliExpress, including a cross stand. Let me show you guys the cross stand real quick. Pops right on like that. It's got pretty nice retention. You can see it's almost like these little clips on the side pops right in there and it is a very nice stand. The dimensions of the cross stand are 3.8 inches. It weighs 0 0.9 ounces. I bought the entire thing for $17.99 on AliExpress. A few dollars shipping got to me in 12 days after my purchase. Now it's time to put these two stoves to the test. We're gonna boil two cups of water with each using one ounce of fuel. Here we go with the two siphon stoves. We've got the Lixada, which is the bigger one and the Tokes, which is the smaller one. I'm gonna to try to light them as quickly as I can together, and they should both uh, prime up pretty quick. Here we go. As usual, the Tokes primes up a little faster, and there comes Lixada. There we go. These stoves really make the autofocus struggle, so I have to actually lock the autofocus with these siphon stoves. It's the only ones that really cause a problem. But you can see they really are very, very similar. Uh, there's not a lot of difference other than the size, but the flame pattern itself is essentially the same, and both of them are very nice. Okay, let's get our one ounce of fuel into our Tokes siphon. Here we go. We're gonna light this bad boy up. We've got two cups of water in our Evernew titanium 900 milliliter mug pot. We've got the Evernew cross stand on top of this, which is very similar to the other. So we're gonna use this one. Start it up, put this on top, start up our timer, and let's see how long it takes to get two cups of water to a boil. All right, guys, it's boiling. 10 minutes, 15 seconds. I'm actually gonna keep going to see how long it burns for. That is a kind of long time, 10 minutes, 15 seconds. Honestly surprised with that. And I'm sitting here thinking, you know what? Tokes doesn't make a cross stand like this. And this is the first time that I've ever used the cross stand with the Tokes. So I'm wondering, maybe we're not supposed to use this thing with the cross stand, or maybe that's not gonna be its best performance. So. We're going to give it another shot here in a little bit and use the Tokes TI stand and see what kind of numbers we get with it. We're going to let this finish burning, see how long it burns for with one ounce of fuel. And then we're going to try it again just to see if there's a difference. I have a feeling there might be. All right, losing some steam quickly here. All right, that's essentially out. We'll call it 14 minutes, 45 seconds. That's a pretty long burn time on one ounce of fuel, 14.45. Let me load up this TI stand here get the uh, cross stand off. Let's try this again. Okay, we are changing up the pot. I do want to use a pot. Uh, this is basically the uh, larger pot from the Soto thermostat. I want to use one that fits inside so that it uh, gets, you know, the advantage of using this stand. 
There it goes. We'll pop this on. And we will start this up. And let's see if we get any better. We're trying to beat 10 minutes, 15 seconds. Let's see what happens. Well, this makes more sense. This is more like the numbers that I've gotten in my testing with this Tokes uh, before. So not surprised here. Definitely didn't like the cross stand and I'm glad we went ahead and did this. It is boiling right there, guys. Oh, well, 6.55, I'm gonna let it keep going here. 6.55 for a boil. 6.55, that is a huge difference than with the cross stand. Now let's check out the Lixada and see how it works. Now it was designed to work with the cross stand, so we're gonna see how it works with it. All right, here we go. One ounce of fuel into our Lixada stove. As I said, this one is designed to use the cross stand, so we're going to use it. Let me get this thing lit. Put our pot on. Turn our timer on. And let's see, we'll make sure that's nice and centered. It looks pretty good. Let's see how long it takes to get two cups of water to a boil. We'll also see how long that one ounce of fuel burns for. Okay, getting close. 6.44, let me keep that going, sorry guys. 6.44 for a boil, a little bit faster than the tokes. Let's see how long it burns for. All right guys, it actually just died. I wasn't paying good attention. So nine minutes, seven seconds. I'll tell you guys it was nine minutes, seven seconds. So it brought it to a boil faster, but it definitely used the fuel faster as well. All right, so a quick review of the numbers. First, we used the tokes and we used the Evernew cross stand and that turned out to be a mistake. Now, I was trying to kind of make things even and say, okay, well, I'm gonna use the Lixada with its cross stand, so I'll just use a cross stand with the tokes. Not a good idea. It took 10 minutes and 15 seconds to get two cups of water to a boil. Now, I've used the tokes multiple times before and never got anywhere near that amount, so I knew something was wrong. Now, it did burn for 14 minutes, 45 seconds with one ounce of fuel. Pretty impressive. Now I switched over to the Tokes TI stand, got a very respectable six minutes, 55 seconds to boil two cups of water, much more in line with what I'd gotten in the past. The Lixada did a very good job of getting water to a boil in six minutes, 44 seconds, so faster than the Tokes, but it is much less efficient because it only burned for just over nine minutes. It's not surprising because it is a bigger stove, so it's not gonna be as efficient, but it is a pretty big difference between nine minutes and almost 15 minutes that the tokes burn for. All right, so let's talk a little bit about reasons to favor the tokes. First of all, it's smaller, it's lighter, and of course, it is the original design. Reasons to favor the Lixada, well, the price. It has a very effective stand and an increased capacity for fuel. In the end, I have to be honest with you guys, I like both of these stoves a whole bunch. If you combine the tokes, for example, with the Evernew cross stand, works just as well as the Lixada. Really hard to argue with either one of them. If you're looking for an awesome ultralight alcohol burner, it is hard to go wrong with either one of these. If you're looking for one that's a little smaller, go with the Tokes. If you want one that's a little bit bigger and has more fuel capacity, go with the Lixada. My choice, well, I'm always gonna go with the original. Like I said, I definitely would pick the Tokes over the Lixada. I also really like the Tokes TI stand that goes along with it. You can purchase it separately. That combination is super lightweight and very effective. The stand folds down to almost nothing. It also comes with two pegs that you can basically use as tent pegs if you want as well. Very nice products from Tokes. That's my choice. That said, from the standpoint of comparing originals to copycats, this Lixada is very close. Like I said, can't go wrong with either one. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I have an entire playlist on stoves. Well over 100 videos on that playlist this time, not just alcohol stoves, but gas stoves, solid fuel stoves, wood stoves, DIY stoves, whatever you're looking for, you can find it on that playlist. I'll leave a link down below in the description as well as up here in the cards. Do me a big favor, guys. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up down below. Really helps spread things across YouTube. Can't tell you guys enough how much that helps. If you're not subscribed, and I know a lot of you are not, make sure you hit that subscription button. And if you wanna be notified when I release new videos, hit the notification bell and you'll be the first to know. It's been a while since I've done some alcohol stoves here on the channel, and I've reviewed quite a few here on my trip to Arkansas. Really enjoying getting back to these stove testing videos. I do a lot of them, but I've really, really found a lot to do lately, so I hope you guys enjoy them. Hope you guys enjoyed this look between the Lixada and the Tokes. As always, guys, appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.